Hey guys, welcome to BDJ Library. I'm still lose my voice at the World Championship. Great fights, great match, and uh, a lot of good Jiu Jitsu out there. But uh, uh, there is a situation. Uh, jiu Jitsu by itself, it's a self defense uh, art. So uh, being there, your uh, main goal is to protect yourself against any kind of a attack or trouble. Uh, farther than that, it's about passing the guard or playing guard. What we saw a lot in this tournament is what we call the neutral position. It's a position that we call the double guard pull, where both of the athletes are here and they don't want either one to come to the top or to play guard. They just want to stay here and kind of uh, go for all the tricks, all the games that we get for the leg switch here and the, for the foot locks, for all the kind of trouble can go here, for the baby molar, we go up there. So what is happening right now that they are doing is not only against the IBJ, it's not against like uh, the Jiu Jitsu rules, but it's against the principle of Jiu Jitsu by itself. I cannot fight him if it's a, a self-defense situation, if it's a fight, if it's a street fight, I cannot fight him with my butt on the ground. Gotta have kind of a common sense of somebody get an attack and become like a game. The neutral position just develop in the regular guy bad habits because you're gonna see yourself not experience the leverages of being on top, of be putting pressure, of be dealing with guard. You cannot fear guard. You're gonna be a good passer because you're gonna face the guard. The guards will help you to develop good pressure skills. And uh, if you just opt for staying here and you start to dealing with legs, you're gonna break the code of the traditional Jiu Jitsu that is bring to the other opponent the challenge or have a pressure or go for uh, sweeps, include submissions and all the attempts. So here it comes, if we get in this position, I think we should call time and both uh, start again the stand up, be able to uh, exchange takedowns that we don't see that often anymore and uh, be able to play like a real game of a guard or passing the guard. But of course, any position is valid if you put the intention that you want in the position. If your intention is to go for the beating bolo, for to go for foot locks, to go for any kind of thing that you like, it's fair. But do it in less than 30 seconds. Because more than this, if you stay here, it's kind of, a, it's kind of boring to watch, to be here, to be the parents watch, because nothing is actually happening. And it's hard to understand if your intention after training so hard is to get the gold or not, or it should be just sitting over here. To limit yourself to this kind of game is kind of a limit yourself to see what is in the Jiu Jitsu book. So we can play this, have a lot of setups for, for this, but let's gonna start to really apply what it's all about. Somebody gotta be putting pressure. So if you hand a chin, you feel comfortable to come up, boom. And then we're gonna be dealing with a fair and square play of Jiu Jitsu. You're gonna be dealing with a guard passer and a guard player. And that's why this situation should not happen for the long, for the benefit of the traditional Jiu Jitsu. And also to give another mindset to the new champions that are trying to play the winning game, not the champions game. Thank you guys and I hope you guys enjoy and check bjjlibrary.com and let's uh, it's gonna talk pretty soon with the new features. I appreciate it. have a great trade. Us.